please note that this video contains spoilers. Matrix movie thoughts. Let's start with some interesting open questions. I like how you don't know exactly what the bug that they put into Neo is or does. I suppose you could say it's just so they can trace him, but there's probably something smaller that they could use to trace you know, maybe it's some kind of weapon, a bomb, or maybe it's to, I don't know, maybe it's to enable them to find him easier once he gets back out of the Matrix. And just the look of it, it has this really insectoid, machine-like feel to it. Yeah, I, I believe Jeff Darrow is his name. Just excellent art and, you know, designs for him, you know, also the Sentinels and the large machine that grabs Neo when he wakes up, you know, and again, we don't know exactly why it lets him go. I would say it's probably because he's woken up and it's like checking, okay, is, you know, can I put him back in and it decides, you know, he's not going to accept the the Matrix anymore, so it just flushes him, basically. Because if the Nebuchadnezzar hadn't been there, he would have drowned, you know. You don't really see anywhere for him to swim to, and he can't stay, you know, over... You know, he can't keep his head over above water forever, you know. But then again, maybe, you know, Dozer or Tank actually sort of hacked into that machine. It could have killed Neo, to be sure, you know, machines are efficient, so maybe it needed to be hacked into so that it would let him go, you know. And I like how, let's be honest, Cypher's, Cypher being the mole is kind of obvious, it just right from the pedo look and stare and you know maybe also the opening lines of we're gonna kill him I guess he's saying that it would kill Neo to be you know freed to have his mind opened at this age but yeah it's a pretty obvious you know foreboding line but I do like the small touch of him carefully turning off the monitor when he realizes that Neo is behind him, you know, because most likely he is already, he's either already having the dinner with Smith or he's setting it up, you know, we don't know exactly how he by himself jacks into the Matrix without an operator, but, you know, there's probably some... Kind of, he's a programmer, you know, they apparently all were. So he probably fixed some way to, you know, run it so he could enter the Matrix without someone, you know, as an operator there. The... I quite like Mouse's, you know, submachine guns. It's really too bad that we don't see more use out of them. I do have to wonder why Trinity doesn't bring more guns into the lobby shootout. She brings like just one micro Uzi and just, you know, instantly empties it and, you know, from there on out she's just dodging and using other people's guns. But I guess the, the scene's focus is really on Neo. Neo's resurrection, you have to wonder if it's because he is apparently Snow White and it's the, you know, love and kiss and all that mushy stuff, or it's that he, you know, he begins to believe, he accepts that he is the one, so that brings him back to life, you know. The Oracle did tell him, you know, maybe you're waiting for another life. And you gotta love the bit about, you know, would you still have broken that vase if I hadn't told you that it was okay, you know, that you were going to break it. Did it, you know, 
did it happen because you knew that it might, or, you know, was it going to happen even if I hadn't told you? I like the spoon kid who expresses the idea that you have to accept that what you think is real isn't real. It's like the idea in, I always get Buddhism and Hinduism mixed up, so I'm just gonna go with both and at least one of them be right. You have to accept that what you perceive as reality is really just a fiction in order to achieve nirvana. And the final scene with Neo talking on the phone, we don't know exactly to who, and you know, the line is sufficiently vague, and then he goes and breaks the fourth wall, I'm pretty sure, staring directly at the camera, and he gets a little smile, and then he flies off, you know, so it is saying, yeah, audience, I am speaking directly to you, you know, and one would hope that it didn't inspire too many people to go out and stock trench coats with guns and jump off buildings, but, you know, still, it has that kind of, you know, it is telling us to be skeptical, it is You know, and, and inspiring these ideas, going into these ideas of something might not be as real as you think it is. Which is a really old philosophical idea, and I think a really interesting one. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.